after the Azimio debriefing meeting with delegation to the bipartisan talks on this fourth day of May 2023. When we announced the suspension of our protests one more time yesterday, we said we would summon our seven member delegation to the bipartisan talks for debriefing and fresh instructions. This has been the meeting with the state delegation for a debriefing, and they have properly been debriefed. All the six of them, except the one member who was not here with us today. This meeting res resolved to approach and participate in the talks with clean hands in the interest of the country, and that the talks need to start immediately. Our issues remain what we always said. They are, one, we want the state to intervene and reduce the cost of basic commodities and services, including food, fuel, electricity, and school fees. We want the subsidies that were scrapped to be restored so that UNGA can come back to retailing at Kenya shillings 100. Audit, this is the second point, the audit of the 2022 presidential election results. Number three, restructuring and reconstitution of IEBC. Number four, an end to the interference in the management and operations of political parties with a view of co-opting uh, and paralyzing these parties. We still believe the talks cannot be driven entirely. And this is a very important point that had been raised much earlier, that the talks cannot be driven entirely and exclusively through a parliamentary process. There must be an avenue to be inclusive and to allow for the participation of players from outside parliament in the talks. Such a structure, in our view, will create an avenue for the inclusion of other outstanding constitutional issues to be canvassed in the talks. We have instructed our delegates to raise this. We wish to make it absolutely clear that we are not interested in power sharing with Kenya Kwanzaa, or what the so-called Nusumkat. In fact, our position remains that Kenya Kwanzaa is an illegitimate regime that is in power through a civilian coup. We have instructed our team to make this very clear. We are not interested in any deals other than open talks on issues we have made public. We have also instructed our delegates to make it clear that we cannot want these talks to go for longer than 30 days from the date of commencement. We have, also <clears throat> we have also made it clear that our youths who have been arrested and arraigned in court on trumped up charges must be released unconditionally ahead of the talks. During the protests this last Tuesday, a number of hired thugs were unleashed on Nairobians by Rigadi Gashagwa and Moses Kuria to rain terror on people and destroy property, which was then blamed on Azimio youths. We are aware, and many Kenyans are aware, that during our last protest, Gashagwa, Kuria, and their mercenaries in Kenya Kwanzaa had engaged assassins from within and outside established security forces to kill Azimio leaders and implement mass murder of protesters. We knew their plans and changed tact. When people with the history of mass murder and execution of witnesses tell you that they are going to kill you, you believe them or die. The threats notwithstanding, we will continue with our engagements with other people through town hall meetings and other avenues to continue educating our people on the issues as our delegates engage in the talks. As we said yesterday, we will not hesitate 
to resort to alternative measures are the slightest indication of lack of goodwill and honesty on the side of Kenya Kwanzaa. If through intransigence, delaying tactics, and other aspects of stonewalling, Kenya Kwanzaa forces us to abandon the talks, there shall be no turning back. Kenya Kwanzaa must get this clear.